So this problem says, what are the concentrations of Na plus and SO42 minus ions in solutions in a solution containing 1.42 grams of dissolved Na2SO4 in 500 milliliters, assuming the dissociation is complete? First of all, let's write our dissociation reaction that Na2SO4, when it is dissolved in water, it says that the dissociation is complete, so that means it's a fully forward reaction. And the ions would be, they told us that the ions are Na plus and SO4 2 minus. Since the subscript of Na is a 2, we would have a coefficient of 2 here. And we have only one SO4, so we have a 1 coefficient in front of the SO4. From here, the since we're looking for the concentrations of the ions, the first step is to find the concentration of the overall um, compound. So the concentration we'll use, we'll assume that they're talking about molarity, which the molarity um, formula is moles of the solute divided by liters of the solution. So in order to find the um, the molarity, we need to know what the moles of the solute are and the liters of solution. We were given that we're dissolving it in 500 milliliters, which we'll assume is the milliliters of solution, and if we convert that to liters, that would be 0 0.5 liters of solution. So that gives us our denominator. But we still need to find the moles of the solute. We know that it has 1.42 grams of the Na2SO4. So let's convert that to molar mass, excuse me, let's convert that to moles using the molar mass. And we'll put the unit of grams on the bottom so it cancels moles on top. And the molar mass of Na2SO4 is 142.04, which goes with grams, and that's in one mole. Dividing that out, um, we get 1.42 divided by 142.04 is 0.009997 moles of Na2SO4. So let's take that number of moles and divide it by our liters to get molarity. So our molarity of our Na2SO4 is the 0 0.009997 moles divided by the 0 0.5 liters, which is 0 0.01999 um, molarity or mole per liter of Na2SO4. And rounding to three sig figs, would round to this 9 here, which would give us 0 0.0200 molar Na2SO4. Okay, and once we got, once now that we have the uh, molarity of the total compound, we can use the molar coefficients in the balanced reaction to convert these two concentrations of the ions. So using the 0 0.0200 molar, or let me write that out as mole per liter of Na2SO4, we can do a conversion to go to Na plus by saying that since there's, a co since there's no coefficient on the Na2SO4, there's one mole of Na2SO4 for every two moles of Na plus, because when each Na2SO4 dissociates, it creates two ions of the Na plus. So that's where this two comes from. And multiplying that out gives us 0 0.0400 moles per liter of Na plus.
And then similarly with the, um, we need to also convert to moles, or excuse me, the molarity of the SO2, SO42 minus ion. Those have a one-to-one -one coefficient um, balance. So that would just be 0 0.020 mole per liter of the Na2SO4 again. That'll be a one-to-one -one conversion. One mole of Na2SO4 is one mole of SO4 two minus. So since it's one-to-one, -one, it'll be just the original number, which is 0 0.0200 mole per liter of SO4 two minus. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like my, my like my video and share with anybody who you think might find this um, information helpful. Also, feel free to leave any com in the comments any questions that you have, any questions on this particular video, or any other homework questions that you'd like to see a video on, and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching.